Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here in Hollywood with Tito Ortiz. We're gearing up for his November 24th fight with Chuck Liddell, part three. It's your chance for redemption, your chance for revenge to finally get a win over Chuck. I see this black eye on you. Training's been hard. Yes, training's been Extremely hard. Really, 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 really hard. I guess it's a little different when you're sparring, you're sparring with little small gloves. You know, we're not using big gloves. You know, we're using small gloves just for the timing, for the weight um, of our hands uh, at the same time. I'm going against savages, man. You know, Herb Dean, uh, Mo Moretta, um, Jay Silva. I mean, I, I got guys coming in, a new guy every round. Uh, and I, I'm not holding anything back. I'm not looking uh, to make sure that I don't get the work. I need to get the work. I'm wrestling. I'm doing jujitsu. I'm doing everything I need to do to make it happen. And uh, yeah, this is part of the game, man. Every uh, warrior needs a battle before you go into war. How exactly did it happen? Uh, actually, it was. Uh, uh, right hook. Um, I went to go straight, throw a straight right, and he stepped and he caught uh, the thumb of his uh, his thumb just caught me. It wasn't even his fist. His thumb caught me. Uh, no, it wasn't the nail. It was just uh, just the knuckle part, and it, it caught me. And like I said, there's no swelling. It's just a, a, a burn. Just a burn. Just a battle wound. It's part of the game, man. This is what we get paid for. Like I say, I get paid to uh, train. I fight for free. It's your first camp since the Sun In fight. Overall, how's your body feeling, and how's the weight? cut process at, at this point in your career? Well, weight cut hasn't started yet. You know, I'm like 225 right now. Uh, weight cut will start next week. Uh, my body feels great though, you know. A little soreness, you know, a little lower back soreness, a little neck soreness, but that's just a part of wrestling, man. We grinded really hard last night. We did uh, six five minute rounds and having a new guy once again every round on you and you're wrestling against him, you're defending takedowns, uh, you're taking down other guys and do submissions and so forth, uh, just putting in the work, man. And my cardio's through the roof. Uh, I'm ready for a battle. Looking at Chuck and seeing that he hasn't fought in such a long time, you going in there in that first round, do you want to go ahead and test his chin right away? I, I'm going to test his timing. I'm going I'm to test the pressure. I'm going you know, I'm, I'm to test the waters. I, I'm excited. I'm going to push the pressure. And I, I don't think Liddell has really understand. And he, he thinks I'm afraid of him. He says he's going to knock me out in two minutes. OK. Well, I'm, I'll prove him wrong. That means all the pressure's on him. Liddell's supposed to win this fight. Liddell. Uh, you think to he's supposed to win this fight? Really? That's what, that's what he thinks. That's what a lot of fans think. I like being the underdog. I like being the person that's not supposed to win. Um, my whole career, I've always wanted to, uh, to get my hand raised against Chuck Liddell. And um, Saturday night, November 24th, I'm going to make it happen. Seeing what happened, though, in the last three fights that he's had, there has to be some sort of want with you to just go and test the chin to see if he can take any sort of damage at this point. I'm going to try to touch him, as I say. I'm going to touch him on his chin more than once. It's not going to just be a one-punch knockout. I'm not going to look for a one-punch knockout. I'm going to hit him with a barrage of punches, and that's what we're doing in sparring, looking for a barrage of punches. Uh, if the takedown comes, the takedown comes. Uh, if the submission comes, the submission comes. Whatever it takes to get my hand raised, as I say, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to punish him by doing it. Tito, what do you think about the boxing and him, his training videos? Um, I think his training videos, I think he's sandbagging. I think he's uh, trying to play something that's not true. But we'll see you today, I guess. We'll see you if... I'll stick around. I'll stick around. I'll stick around. Cause I want to watch. I want to. I want to see how, what he does and how flat-footed he truly is. Um, but it, I think we've been here for long enough. Where so was that your first thought though when you saw those videos? Like, okay, I think he's playing. Yeah, I know. I, I automatically. I, my instinct is he's playing. He's playing. But I mean, you'll see the speed today compared to the speed of me. So I, I we'll see the difference. So you have to, your intention is to stand up in exchange with him, but you don't want to make it a ground game. You would prefer to finish him off by on your feet. Yes. I want to. I want to give the fans a good fight. I don't want to give uh, someone who's going to sit there and take him down and hold him down. No. If I take him down, I'm submitting him. Uh, if I take him down, I'm going to punish his face. Uh, but I'm going to test his chin also. So whatever it takes to, to get my hand raised, I'm going to do. We are uh, just after Veterans Day. We celebrated Veterans Day. I know that's uh, very important to you that you show a lot of love to the veterans. Is there anything that you would like to add that you didn't get to say on Veterans Day? Just following the holiday. Um, you know, I'm just I'm very thankful for all the men and women uh, who who's sacrificed, um, sacrificing, who are abroad now, who are at home, who came back from war. Uh, we stand behind you. You know, I, I know the rate has gone up for uh, suicides uh, in the veteran community, uh, up to 23 now. And I really want to tell you guys, you need to reach out to somebody, make a phone call. On, Twitter or Instagram, direct message me, whatever you possibly need. You need someone to talk to, reach out to a family member, reach out to a friend because you're not alone. You're not able to do this alone. I have my team where I battle, I get in there. You guys should have someone to have your back. I'm one of those people to have your back. So I'm not just a happy Veterans Day, but stay strong, keep fighting the fight. And you know, if you guys have any problems, don't hesitate to reach out because I love each and every one of you. Tito, how much more do you feel you have left? 
I have until November 24th. That's all I got. You're not planning past that or anything? Do you have thoughts? Nothing past that. Nothing really? past that. Nothing past that. Right now, it's just about Chuck. That's all I care about. I ain't looking past about anything. I ain't looking. Uh, my chickens aren't even hashed yet, man. This, this, this stuff is just one fight. That's all I care about right now. Prison 14, he pulled out. What did you make of the whole situation? Just the press conference and. I, I thought uh, Mayweather did it just to get press. And that was a good job on him. Dude. Yeah, he's, he's a smart man. He's a businessman. That's why he's almost a billionaire. So he's a smart man.